This is Hugh Fraser, now an Ontario Provincial Court judge, but back in the 1970s, a sprinter who represented Canada at the Commonwealth Games, the Pan Am Games, and the Montreal Olympics. This is Mark Fraser, his 26-year-old son, who has never seen his dad race until now. <laughs> Fraser gets a good start. He's going to be pushed by Grazioni. It's Grazioni and Fraser. Fraser, Grazioni, and Impressive. Very powerful. That's actually the first time I've ever seen any of these up and run. So That's you've really never cool. seen anything like never, this? No. Before? I've seen, I mean, plenty of pictures and everything, but this is a. Uh, It's funny too because he really doesn't look that different. The, the, the hair shorter, <laughs> mustache is thinner. The bond between father and son is strong. Mark has great respect for a man who was a married Olympic athlete in law school at age 23. Hugh and wife Anne raised three successful children whose strength came from them. What kinds of things do your dad go through? You know, there's always the pressures of, of um, he tells stories of, of, I think it was in his high school, he got cut from his track and field team. Mm -hmm. You know, so things like that where, where you know, you used to have a certain faith or belief in yourself, but so maybe someone else does until an opportunity presents itself. But um, as well, just the generation again that it was. Um, my mother's told me stories of, of times where, uh, you know, there's track meets in the south that they would both be at and, and she would be the one to go in to get the hotel room simply knowing that um, if he went in, he, he wouldn't have been, um, you know, provide the same service. We would have discussions about things and he would ask me questions about about um, some of the trailblazers. He was quite interested in you know in ja the Jackie Robinson story uh, things like that so I think Mark appreciated that it might have been a, a more difficult time for people of, of my uh, generation but um, that that was something you could never use an, as an excuse to uh, to not try to succeed. The Canadian team Marv Nash passing off to Hugh Fraser. Hugh Fraser will give to Cole Doty, but here's the and you see his leg wrapped up. And in the lead, Ephraim Sarin, and he is caught at the... Uh, still, still really cool to see. And again, who, who knows what would have happened had he been healthy. And one man who used to do a lot of training out there is Hugh Fraser, a sprinter for the Canadian team. Oh, that's an afro right there. Because we have a number of athletes who are... Seems all business. Uh, yeah, sure, sure it does. He's definitely a, a serious man, but... Uh, you know, he's a, he's a pretty big comedian, too, <laughs> if, if you get to know him. Put a camera on him, though, he'll be, he'll be professional. Never did Mark need his father's counsel more than last season. Three times last year, I got put on waivers, and sort of what I was hearing back was from GMs was that uh, we don't know who he is. You know, I had played just under 100 games in the league and, and uh, still wasn't really known wanted by anyone, that's sort of how it felt. The most important thing I told them was just to, um, just to stay with it, that you just that you never know when that next opportunity is, is going to be around if you just keep on then holding on to, uh, to that dream, to that belief, and you will get another opportunity. Again, just reassurance from someone who had, who had walked the path before, um, who had athletically knows the pressures, and, and you, you, you work incredibly hard your entire life for this opportunity and it seems to be fading away. But if you believe in yourself and you don't give up and you keep you know, showing up with that smile and keep working hard, uh, it'll happen. And that was sort of the message I got from my, my father. That leads us to the final member of this story, his maternal grandfather, Dr. Irving Kennedy, known as Hap, who passed away two years ago. And I truly feel that actually uh, he might have had something to do with me landing here um, in some way, but he was a uh, veteran from the Second World War, flew Spitfires, and, and, uh, but always grew up a Maple Police fan, uh, returned home to become a doctor, and again, just another member of my family who really sort of set that bar high for us, and, and all we wanted to do was follow in his footsteps.